Hello, my name is Eric Dibble, Regional Sales Manager with HF Scientific. In today's video, we're going to go over some common troubleshooting techniques on the CLX Online Chlorine Monitor. The first and most important thing to do when you have any issue on the CLX is perform a flow test. To perform a flow test, you click two buttons. The first button you'll click is the service button. After a few seconds, the screen will say hold. Once the hold comes on the screen, you'll press the bottom button that says mode exit. It will now say flow with a zero above it. To begin a flow test, you can press the up or the down arrows. Once the analyzer goes through a flow test, it will say either good or bad. It will say good anywhere between 5 and 22, but we're looking for a very tight range on the flow test. We, we want to set the flow anywhere between a 10 and 12. So even if your analyzer has a flow of a 7 and it says good, we still need to adjust it to make sure that it's a 10 or a 12. To adjust the analyzer for the flow test, you want to come to the regulator down here and loosen up this locking nut. The regulator is a little backwards, so it actually pushes a spring in. So to get more flow into the analyzer, we want to turn it to the right. So let's say we have not enough flow going to the analyzer and our flow test comes up as low. We want to let more water in. So we are going to turn our regulator to the right to push that spring in to let more water in. If our flow test is a seven, that means that water is moving in too fast and we actually need to put less flow in. So we'll turn our regulator to the left. To perform another flow test, simply press the up or the down arrow until you get between a 10 and a 12. Once you have a good flow, you can press the enter button and it will go back into normal operation. Always remember to reset your locking nut down here so that this regulator doesn't move under normal operations. Another very common error that we see on the CLX is if you're getting a low reading. If you're getting a low reading on your CLX, the first thing we want to do is check it against a handheld to make sure that the, that the low reading isn't correct. Once you know that it's not correct, there's a few things that you can look at. The first and the easiest thing is to check your reagent levels. Make sure that your reagent is full or it's not empty. If it's empty on either one, you could be getting low readings. We also want to make sure that that reagent is not more than 32 days old. If the reagent gets old, you can start having fallout and you'll start getting odd or low readings. If you confirm that you have enough buffer, you have enough indicator, and you're still getting a low reading, uh, we want to make sure that maybe something isn't blocked inside one of the tubes. So what we'll do then is we'll do a normal flush. We'll pull the bottle out, we will untwist the cap, we will take some DI water in our syringe, we'll push DI water through, and what we're looking for here is to make sure that we don't have a blockage at one of our two check valves. So when you're pushing that DI water through, make sure that you're seeing it come up in the cuvette. So do that for both sides and then reprime the analyzer to see if that helps your low readings. If you continue to have low readings, the next thing you want to look at is your intake solenoid valve. The intake solenoid valve is located behind this bracket. And if anything has happened with that and there's too much water getting in, you're going to dilute your sample and get a low reading. To do a test, we will click service and let the unit go into a hold pattern. What this does is it closes the intake solenoid and opens the drain solenoid up. If you see any water getting into your cuvette while you have it in hold mode, you know that something has happened with the intake solenoid. The next way to test it is when you're in hold mode is to do a flow test. While you're doing a flow test, you want to make sure that every time that that solenoid fires, that that's the only time water is coming in. So you'll have to look very closely in the cuvette. And what you want to see as that intake solenoid is firing is that the water in the cuvette is going up little by little. If you see the water steadily flowing into there, you'll know that there is an issue with the intake solenoid. If you do all these tests and you still think that your reading is low, uh, the last thing we can look at is our regulator. A good test for the regulator is to perform a flow test. You know what your number is on the flow test, but then adjust your regulator. Adjust it in more, adjust it out more, and make sure that your number moves how it's supposed to. If your number isn't moving, or if your number is very low, like a five or a six, then you most likely have an issue with your regulator. If these issues still persist, you need to call your sales team or the HF Scientific Tech Support Team to help you further diagnose your issue. Another error that you may see is an end purge or purge error. If you get an end purge or purge error, that most likely means that your CLX is not draining properly. The first thing you want to check if you get an end purge error is that if your drain's plugged up. We recommend that you air gap the drain. So you leave a little bit of room between the drain and where you're draining the water. What that allows is for everything to drain off the bottom 
Uh, nothing, no bio growth to get back up inside the analyzer and just keeps everything flowing really easily. If you are air gapped and you have an end purge error, we'll move on to the next step. Another good way to look at your end purge error is to check the back of the analyzer where these vent lines are to make sure there's not water flowing down. This is normally pretty obvious if you have it on a wall, you'll see some fallout behind the analyzer. If that's dry, the next thing we want to look at is our drain solenoid. To test the drain solenoid, we want to put the analyzer into hold mode. We'll go into service, and once it says hold, you'll see the purge solenoid light has, was lit up and now, it's, and now it's off. When that green light goes on, that means that your purge solenoid should be open. If you make it into hold mode and your cuvette is still full, that means that your purge solenoid is not working correctly. Thank you for watching our CLX general troubleshooting video. If you have more questions or any issues, please call the HF scientific sales team or the tech support team. Thank you.